Hey, what's up, guys? It's Headsets Modern Warfare here, GamerTab Lander Chicken, and welcome back to another episode of JTAG Tutorials, episode 26, I believe we're on now. Going to lose count soon, but uh, anyway, this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom, well, not make, but how to get custom boot animations on your Xbox 360 uh, RGH console. So, um, basically, uh, when you turn your console on, obviously you get the normal Xbox uh, logo animation coming up and then it boots you into the dashboard. Um, what we're going to be doing is using a program that will replace that with you know, a video file um, of anything you want. So it could be you know, a different Xbox logo, it could be you know, a, a, your own YouTube intro or it could be you know, anything video file you download off the internet. Totally up to you, you can get creative with it and um, just change the boot animation sequence to whatever you want. So um, in order to do this we're going to be using a program called Fake Anim and um, pretty useful program. Um, so what we're going to do is extract this. Now this will be in the description of the video. I'll also put links to websites which contain um, lists of or download links of boot custom boot animations that you can use um, if you'd like to do that. Um, so go ahead and open up Fake Anim and uh, open the jukebox folder. This is where you're going to put your uh, custom boot animation. Uh, it's already a couple of presets in there that you can use. Um, I'm not going to use those ones so I'm going to delete them. I recommend you keep the boot um, Anim Fall 2010. That's the original um, Xbox logo boot up animation. I recommend you keep that, maybe make a backup of it if you're not going to use it uh, at the moment, which you won't be if you're watching this tutorial I'm sure. So go ahead and make a backup of it. The reason I'm telling you to make a backup of it is what can sometimes happen, or what will happen, is we're going to have to delete something on the flash, which is like your NAND. Um, and by deleting a file on your NAND, you can't just go and put that file back again if you th if you want to change it back to the way it was with the original Xbox logo. You have to um, sort of reflash your NAND if you wanted to do that. So what you can do instead if you ever feel like, oh, I want to put the old logo back on, just put it back to the way it used to be. Um, you can keep using fake Anim, but just put, the, put this one in and it will just look like normal. So um, yeah, anyway. I'm going to use this uh, custom uh, animation here. Uh, not bad. So I'm going to use that one uh, for now. So I'm just going to put it in the jukebox folder. Bear in mind the video file needs to be WMV, which is Windows Media Video. Uh, you need it to be in that format. So if you're downloading from the internet, uh, make sure it's a WMV file or if it's an AVI or MP4 then just find a some software that will convert it to WMV. Um, so once you have your boot, your custom animation that you're happy with inside the jukebox folder, we're then going to copy this fake anim folder onto the console. So I'm going to be using FileZilla uh, to transfer uh, all my files across on this tutorial. Um, but you can, you know, copy it onto a USB stick and put it onto your console or use Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Um, totally up to you. So I'm going to go into the hard drive on my Xbox. Anyone who's not familiar with this program, on the right here, this is me viewing my Xbox here on the right. So this is all my file structures, the structure of my Xbox and all my drives that are in my Xbox are here on the right side. Um, so I'm going to go into HDD1 on my Xbox and I'm going to put the fake Anim folder inside. Um, you can put it on any storage device that's uh, on your Xbox. So that's it in there with the custom boot logo. Um, so now what we've got to do is add that into Dash Launch because Dash Launch is the program that's going to be launching our uh, video file when we turn the console on. So the problem is the GUI version of Dash Launch, you know, the one with the orange background and you can change everything uh, and you can't change, you can't sort of add 
the fake animation into Dash Launch using that uh, graphical user interface version, you have to go into the launch.ini configuration file. Um, so you're going to have to right click launch.ini, view slash edit if you're using uh, FileZilla, um, or you know if you're not using FileZilla, just copy your launch.ini over to the computer and uh, you're going to edit it and once you're done you can just copy it back over to the Xbox. So when you've got the launch.ini file open you want to scroll down till you find uh, the default path um, which for me I've set that to freestyle dash so it boots me into freestyle dash when I turn the console on um, but we're going to add one in underneath called the uh, fake anim um, which is going to equal for me, you know, you put your path in, so mine was inside HDD1, then it's in the fake anim folder, and then fake anim.xex is the file that we want to launch, not the actual video file. So, so it's in, for me it was in HDD1, which is HDD um, by default on here, so HDD uh, backslash and we're going to put in fake anim and then backslash fake anim dot xex and what that's going to do is launch that so we're going to save it and I'm going to update that on the JTAG so now what's going to happen is it's going to launch when we turn the console on now the problem with this um, as I will show you, uh, is that we're basically going to be extending the length of the boot sequence because it's going to boot into the normal logo first and then it's going to boot into our custom one. Um, plus, so it's going to add extra time. So, what I'm going to show you how to do next is how to reduce that time so that it just boots you straight into the custom animation instead of booting you into the normal animation first. Um, but right now I'll just show you what it currently looks like, so go over to the Xbox and show you that. So as you guys could see there, um, it's adding a lot of extra time to the boot sequence um, by booting both um, logos up one after the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the original one and make the newer one boot up faster um, and get rid of that sort of red screen that popped up for a second between the, the two logos loading. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, is go down to... Uh, the fake anim folder and there's a configuration file in here that you're gonna want to edit you're gonna change the delay down to about 10 because you can try um, you know lowering it further if you want just to experiment see how fast you can get it to boot but um, you know bear in mind the console does need time to boot up so um, 10 10 is a pretty good number works well for me so calibration you want to definitely change this to zero because when it's at one that's when you get that red screen for about a second so by changing that to zero we remove that red screen so that's going to get that to boot up faster and we're just going to make changes to that and now finally we're going to go into the flash folder and this is where I said at the start that um, you know you're not going to be able to get it back to the way it was which is why you should keep a backup of this boot uh, the original Xbox animation so you can use that with fake anim, anim if you want to change it back to the original because uh, what we're going to do here is it's not permanent but I mean you're going to have to flash the NAND if you want to put it back so open. you want to go into flash so 
you can do this obviously like I'm doing in FileZilla, Xbox 360 Neighborhood, XCX Menu. If you're doing this in Freestyle Dash's File Manager, then you need to go into the general settings on Freestyle Dash and enable the Advanced File Manager um, to allow you to to access the files inside the Flash folder. So open up uh, Flash, uh, which is failing for me there. So open up Flash, and you'll see there's a file called bootamin.xex which launches the boot logo so you want to go and delete that file um, if you try and add that file back in it's going to be zero um, bytes zero bits and it's not going to be not going to work um, now that you've deleted it so um, with that deleted what it's going to do now instead of booting into the original logo it's just going to boot us straight into our custom logo um, our custom boot animation and that's it guys that is all you've got to do so I'll just go and go over to the Xbox and show you it now so like subscribe uh, comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in my next video This is really how we live.